Hi and welcome to this video. A while ago I made a video on how to detect uh, programs or software that was connecting out and using your internet and normally spyware and malware sort of does this sort of stuff and downloads nasties to your PC. Uh, when I showed you how to do it in the uh, command prompt but I forgot to actually mention that there was a program that you can also use which is uh, TCP view which is done by uh, again uh, sysinternals windows quite a useful little tool to actually have really it's good for detecting um, trojans and stuff that are connecting out obviously because you'll see an established connection so you can actually uh, I went for all the commands I'm not going to do a real deep thing about PIDs and all that sort of stuff on this one I'm just going to actually show you basically how the program works because uh, I did a lot of that in the last video so anyway you can download it at this uh, site here I will put the link up and basically uh, Let's just open it up. I think I've got it here. And this is the program here, as you can see, running now, which is pretty handy. You can have that running in the top corner if you wanted to, if you're suspicious that you've got something connecting up. And as you can see, there's nothing connecting here at the moment. Okay, but if I started to open up stuff like uh, Windows Explorer, you can see straight away it's, it's established a connection straight away. Uh, we've got the actual antivirus program connected up because that needs to connect up to actually scan for um, nasties through the browser. So uh, as you can see, Internet Explorer has now established a connection. So if I opened up Firefox again, you'd actually see um, you'd actually see Firefox established a connection there as well so obviously if you've got something running there that's uh, obscure, you know you didn't know what it was and it was sticking in here and it was sounded connected you then can investigate and then try to uh, find out where it is and where it's located and, that, and where to delete it because that's what you want to do so I mean that's, that's basically uh, it really for this program I mean I did show you let me show you um, what I did in the command prompt, it was always it was open up the command prompt CMD, and I suggested that you would uh, come here and put netstat in, which is still okay. You can still use this way; it's more geeky this way to use the netstat command prompt. But this is much more easier for people that don't want to go in here or don't or haven't can't get in here or stuff like that, you know. So basically, we can actually do B now. Now, if I did B, just the B, it would just give us an actual list okay this won't be refreshed okay at all whereas if I put a 2 on the end like so it'll be constantly changing like so so we can see what's going on okay now you can see it's um so if I start to shut these windows now you would start to see um, it'll clear up obviously here you're seeing the connections disappear now now it's disappeared here as you can see okay so that's two different ways you can actually do it okay you can either use the command prompt with dash b space 2 okay or you can use the sys internals uh, program tcp view okay my name is brian from brightech.co.uk i hope you enjoy these videos if you do please subscribe to my channel show your support rate for all my videos and you got any questions leave a comment up there or send me a message and I'll do my best to answer it. Please give us a bit of time to answer it because uh, I'm getting a few messages there and it's getting difficult to actually keep up on top of things, okay? So give me a little bit of time to answer back. That was Brian from brightech.co.uk. Thanks very much. Bye for now.